All right, let's try to get some of your calls in a little bit quicker here. Then I want to do a big news blitz. I'm going to announce in 10 minutes who's coming up on the show in the final two hours today. So stay with us for that. Ingrid in Nevada. Ingrid, you're on the air. Welcome. Hello, Alex. Uh, about uh, five months before the Maya report came out, my friend and me got pulled over in Las Vegas for the Ron Paul and InfoWars figures, and it happened again last Friday. And in order to protect ourselves and also support your sponsors, I ordered one of those camera pins. But I had it on the charger that night because it takes from two to four hours to charge, and I forgot to bring it. Anyway, police car behind us, and uh, then the lights come on, and he comes to the car. And my friend, he just had a haircut a few days ago, and he says, you're in the military, aren't you? My friend said, no, I w but I was in the Marines. He says, oh, so you're a veteran. Then he shines the light in the car, and my friend has one of those organites. And he says, what is this? And he says, that's an organite. And he says, what is an organite? This looks like a cell to a bomb. I was in shock when he said that. And um, then we explained it to him. It's against the microwave towers. And then he ordered my friend out of the car and in the back in the front of the police car. Then he so he pulled you over and flipped out over the Ron Paul. And I don't know if you're the yeah. lady yeah. in uh, Las Vegas, but there's a video of police in a parking lot flipping out over a Ron Paul sticker. And in yeah. South Carolina, they raided people's door and kicked it down. And uh, I mean, because the Mayak report and the DHS report that we broke says you're a terrorist. Basically, if you support auditing the Fed, I guess 75 percent of Americans in that Gallup poll are terrorists. And so now he's got you out of the car. Uh, all of this is going on. Did uh, Continue with the story. Did he say it was because of the evil Ron Paul? No, but it definitely was because we never got a ticket. He was behind us for about a minute, and then the lights come on. We, ne we never got a ticket, and he didn't tell us. Why I understand. So how did this end? How did this end? Well, he was implying that we were terrorists making a bomb with the, with the organites. Yeah, they so these are like a work of art for many people. For other people, they think it deals with the it, – it's it's a rife. In fact, somebody mailed us one. Will somebody go grab me that out of the back office, the Oregon generator? I mean, I mean, they're pretty neat little things. I don't really uh, – Yeah, and he thought it was a cell to make a bomb. I couldn't Well, look, it. look, look, look. The, the new thing is cops come up, the bad ones, and they say, your camera is a gun, your bag is a bomb. We know it's not, but we're going to charge you with it. That's in Truth Rising. My film happened to Luke Radowski, and we are changing in New York. So, so how did this end? He says, uh, he says, uh, okay, you're obviously Al Qaeda. What happens next? Well, uh, he questions my friend in the back of the police car, and he, then he goes in the face the other way. Then he come back to the car where I was, and he says, "Now tell me, what, what is this for? Is this a cell? Is this a cell to make a bomb?" So I explained it to him again. No. It's an organite. It's against the energy of the cell phone towers. And um, he didn't really believe me. But he looked like a rookie that just came out of the police training. Yeah, we have this Quantico FBI training video, and I've been so busy I haven't played it. But you know what? I'm going to play it tomorrow. I'm going to play it unedited in its entirety tomorrow. We'll do that uh, in the third hour tomorrow. In fact, make a note for Aaron. I'm just going to air the 14-minute FBI training video. And... They are teaching them everyone is a terrorist. I mean, there are terrorists everywhere. And, of course, really, the government staged the terror attacks, and that's been declassified, many of the staged terror attacks uh, in the past. Yep, here it is. So this is the, I guess, the evil thing. And to be honest, it does have metal shavings in it. The more I think about it, this does almost look like a shape charge weapon, like you'd put plastic behind this. And uh, but but no, that's not that's not what they are. But he definitely then, if he didn't give you a ticket, pulled you over for the Ron Paul thing, and then he saw this. And so uh, the more I think about it, I mean, it's got metal shavings in it. This is exactly what... I never what... thought about it, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I was in shock, yeah. And then he... he yeah, but he, the point is, the like... point is, the point is, I've seen him. Uh, it's in Road to Tyranny with... Uh, 
Farrell Montgomery gets pulled over. They just taser him for no reason, let the dog attack him. He's got his hands up. And they get on the news with jumper cables and go, look. Instead of going, look, sir, droids. They go, look, sir, pipe bombs. And uh, it was, it, and then they had to let him go later. But they've got to, look, they're out of control. They're teaching them Al-Qaeda's everywhere. So they're going to see Al-Qaeda. But I'm sorry, how did this end? He saw the short he had cut on my friend and, and, and implying he's in the military and he's a terrorist. Uh, he finally let us go, but no ticket, like I said, and uh, it definitely was for the Ron Paul sticker. And well, when you see it. this, F you're definitely for the Ron Paul sticker. Uh, did you ask him about that? No, my friend told me to shut up because... <laughs> Because well, I, I guarantee you, you've been put in a database now. When you see the FBI training manual, it says, woman has a camera, Al-Qaeda. Put her in the crime database. She's now Al-Qaeda. Uh, and so it's all about a chilling effect where there's no judge, no jury, can't own firearms anymore when you're put on the secret list, can't have jobs, they're openly announcing. Just total tyranny, just big armored government buildings that control the country through these tracking grids, and then they just turn your life off and... You try to make money with a garage sale after they've turned your national ID card off. The SWAT team er, pulls up and gets out and goes, you don't sell stuff in America. Er, take them away to the re-education camp. <laughs> this ain't America anymore. Cue up the bureaucrats saying it isn't America anymore. Uh, Ma'am, I appreciate your call. And believe me, that's what happens. When they first start getting rid of free speech and the Second Amendment and any right, it immediately goes downhill. It's like you start cresting, like a water slide, like if you go to Slitterbahn or some water park. Right at first, you're going slow, and then, and we're already sliding. And now it's just now starting to speed up. We're like, and it's going to go, and it's just going to be just stealing and grabbing. And, ah, it's ours now, everything. Oh, God, we love it. We're scum. We're filth. We can't produce anything, but we can steal and, and, and I realized all the thugism, all the militarized police, all of it, they're the real class. They're the upper class. We're the lower class. And you get a uniform, you get a badge, you get a government bureaucracy, you become a code enforcer, you become a CPS worker. You're now a god. And everyone, and because I was in the. Flew out to L.A. last week again to take care of very important projects we're working on, not just the Jesse Ventura TV show that I'm now on a consultant officially on and also going to be part of multiple episodes. I'm just going to probably all of them, but I'll just leave it at that. And then part of the next show that gets picked up, but side issue, and I was doing some other stuff out in L.A. that we'll reveal next week, but the point is that leaving Austin, TSA, big fans again. Oh, my friend in Bastrop just loves you. Oh, my husband just loves you. Other TSA guys going, yeah, I know who you are, smiling at me. Hey, we're not that bad. Go on through. You know, hope we don't scare you. <laughs> but when I got to L.A., this was, I've gone to L.A. and flown back now six times. My sixth time leaving, the L.A. guards weren't fans. Now, they got a little too over the top, training everybody to be slaves and bossing you around, so people kind of rebelled against it. So now they act a little more friendly, and TSA admits they've been told to do that, because now they're going nationwide on the streets of America. But I did watch TSA in, like, the bathroom coming in, like, shoving people, like, get out of my way, you know, just, like, real body language of, because, you know, it's a crowded bathroom in there at the urinals. And I watched them at restaurants and things, people, like, scared and them going, and you're some guy, you go get paid 12, 14 bucks an hour, and suddenly everybody's scared of you. And see, this is the new class system. Government and national security and their bureaucracies, they're just turning the whole economy into their system. We're going to go to Gene and Ray and Anti-Federalist and Andrew and Pat in a moment. I want to go ahead and make that announcement. This is the maiden voyage of the trailer. This is an InfoWars-centric trailer, though I would say I'm the main... There's a lot of other great people in this film. L let me just stop there. Let me just calmly explain this to you. Drum roll, please. William Lewis has made a film about the history of FEMA camps, the current FEMA camp facility. He got tours of FEMA camps. He has made a film that I wanted to make, but I've been focused on other big issues. And I'm glad he made it. And so when they asked me to be an advisor on it, 
and they asked me to be the main voice in the film, I was very honored to be part of it. It's got a lot of other great people in it as well. Comes off very well, comes off very mainstream, but also devastating. And it covers all the real FEMA camp info. The rumors are over. It's proven. We have a similar in a month or so coming out, but I can't wait anymore. We're going to have it out earlier, just so I'm just going to promote this one. And this one's great. We're, we're putting on an addendum, but regardless, 